hi uh today i'm here with a, uh, a brand new package topic and i hope that this uh, video will make an impact in your life after after listening because every human being deserves to know the truth and that's why the bible says that for ye shall know the truth and that the truth shall set you free let me still press the symbol which is as quickly as possible i want to put it up to christians that we christians we have failed god and we have failed jesus christ because so many practices that we are practicing today are not really documented under the bible rather we are obeying the traditions of men forsaking the word of god now I'm, you might be asking why is this guy saying this and why is he saying that christians have failed god we have failed god and we'll be failing god. we've been failing god for ages because so many of our practices are not really commanded by god for example let's check into sunday worship how the sunday worship came into existence and if you check the book of all oh, of uh, Exodus chapter 20 and the, uh, 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 the Ten Commandments, Commandment number 4, God said we should keep this day holy and we should worship Him on this day. And now, this day was named by God as Sabbath day. And this is the only day that God gave name in the whole days of the week. Of the week. And the rest of the names that we are having today, Friday, Monday, Saturday, they were all given to the week by men. And if you check or uh, the meaning of the word Sunday. Sunday was named after their son, the pagan sun god. And that is why the day is called Sunday. This is the day that the pagans used in worshipping. Uh, this is the day that pagans normally worship their gods. And now what happened? How? What happened? What transpired that made uh, uh, Saturday worship, uh, 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 that changes uh, Saturday's worship to uh, Sunday worship, which is the Sabbath uh, day? Now we must ask the questions and I hope we have the answers to our questions. But before that, I wanted to check uh, into the book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. What Daniel says or the predictions of Daniel concerning a man that will come into power and a man will tend to change the laws of the Bible or laws of God and also trying to change time itself. And that a man will speak uh, evil of God and try to afflict the sense of all children of God. Now, what, what is happening today? Is this uh, Sunday really Jesus' teaching? This Sunday worship, is this really Jesus' teaching? Is it God that commanded that we should worship him on this day Sunday? Because this day was named after their pagan God, Sun God, which is Sunday. Let me say a uh, practicable once more. Uh, Christians in the ancient time, Christians were having misunderstanding uh, with the uh, Roman, um, uh, Roman government then. And uh, before uh, Emperor Costa time came into uh, power, Christians was never a legalized or a certified religion in Rome then. I'm talking about the ancient time. And until Costa time came into power, and Costa, Costa time came into power in the year 313 AD. And in the year 321 AD, Constantine made a decree. And the decree is as follows. I want to read the decree uh, from the... I want to read the decree, like I said, from uh, the book because I don't really have it on my head. So I have to check it. I have to read it from the book. Let, let, let's go. The decree is as follows. On the venerable day of the sun, let the magistrates and people residing in cities rest and let all workshop be closed the sunday law was officially confirmed by the roman papacy you, can you hear that now i'm asking again i'm talking to you as a christian where are the bible where is it documented in the bible that uh, we christians should worship god on sunday even jesus christ himself observed the sabbath day and if jesus christ did not do away with the sabbath day how then christians of today are worshiping god on sunday what's happened to the tenth commandments uh, the fourth commandment now let's check the book of that uh, book of james chapter 2 verse uh, 10 to 12 you're going to see what james was here uh, uh, was saying there he was saying something uh of uh you who tries to break one of these laws or ten, the ten commandments if you try to be 40 of one of the ten commandments you are 40 or guilty of them all now if you try to erase this uh, commandment number four or the fourth commandment from the bible and because you're worshiping god on, i'm not being hypocrite because me too have been worshiping god on sunday but i have to go into research and i've seen that some 
Sunday worship is never documented in the Bible. Rather, we are following the traditions of men, forsaking the word of God. And if you say you have right to worship God at any given day or at any given time, then you're trying to discredit God because God placed this day for mankind and that his, this day that he rested, he said he is to be worshipped on this particular day. And that was why he named this day Sabbath day. Every other day, he didn't name, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath day, that he rested, he named the day Sabbath day. And today, we Christians, we are worshiping God on Sunday. Now, are we really following the teachings of Jesus or the teachings of the Bible? Are we really obeying the laws of God or rather we are obeying the uh, traditions of men because christians were having misunderstanding or conflict with the pagans then and because of that uh, when kosatan came and liberated them by defying them as an official religion he placed his own laws and he decreed that our sunday uh, saturday worship must be banned and therefore do you, uh, they must worship their gods their god on sunday i'm talking about the jews now talk to me as a christian do you have any proof to discredit this video that God himself instructed that he is to be worshipped on Sunday? Did Jesus Christ himself instructed Christians that he is to be worshipped on Sunday? Now talk to me as a Christian. You can't, you can't come to me holding the Bible and you pressure, you pressure, you pressure, you're not hating the truth. And the truth must come out because the Bible says that ye shall know the truth and that the truth shall set you free. Thank you very much for listening to my video. God bless you.